Welcome to Salento with Love, I'm David Mengoli. Do I need a surveyor when I'm purchasing a property in Italy? What do you think? Well, interesting question. I'll go straight into the answer. But today, actually, while we answer this question, we are also going to meet with a surveyor inspecting a property for one of our clients. If you ever purchased a property in the United States or in Europe and you have borrowed money from the bank, you have probably been in a situation where the bank will instruct a surveyor and you will normally pay sometimes for that surveyor so a surveyor goes along checks on your property and evaluates your property in many cases which is probably one of the main reasons why the surveyor turns up to then tell the bank if they should lend you the money or not so my question to you is if the bank is engaging a surveyor to decide if they should give you any money and this is the bank's money shouldn't you do the same if you are actually spending your own money in purchasing a property which is also in a country that you don't know really well so I think that answers the question I would say it's a very 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 small investment which is extremely important in then making a final decision when acquiring a property now we have just arrived at the site there's no one here, the appointment is now, but they will turn up soon. So that answers your question. But the questions are, what does a surveyor does when he checks on the property for you? What does he really do? Well, we need to ask the surveyor that, and we will do that today. How important it is? Well, I think we've answered that. How expensive it is? Well, we will answer that as well. How do I get a surveyor? We will answer that as well. And as I finishing this phrase I've got the surveyor turning up so we'll continue the video with the surveyor we're here with uh, Davis ciao Davis ciao Davis oh, so we're here with Davis who is just about to do a inspection on these few properties here and I'd like to ask him obviously we're going to go in Italian read the subtitles so Davis grazie per essere qui grazie a te Davide it's fantastic to actually work with with, uh, with Davis a very professional geometer here in Salento Qu quali sono le, le cose più importanti la documentazione per esempio che hai bisogno prima di fare una verifica la documentazione è fondamentale che serve sempre verificare prima di un acquisto di una compravendita ma anche solo prima di fare un'offerta e basilare avere una visura catastale, una planimetria catastale che è questa qua e se presente la copia del progetto di edificazione dell'immobile o eventuali varianti fatte negli anni su questo immobile affinché noi abbiamo un quadro dell'immobile che stiamo andando a vedere prima ancora di andarla a vedere. Benissimo, quindi è, è importante avere tutta questa documentazione fondamentale a, mo a monte e so che tu lavori per la maggioranza delle banche più importanti no? italiane come, alcune, come, alcune delle come geometra, come survey, come per fare le valutazioni anche. Esattamente. quindi quando poi arrivi eh, a visitare un immobile quali sono poi le cose che anche andrai a guardare oltre la parte delle documenti, la parte do dei documenti urbanistici? Ovviamente come abbiamo avuto modo di visionare a livello cartaceo la documentazione dobbiamo andare a riscontrare che effettivamente l'immobile sia conforme a questa documentazione quindi l'immobile deve avere una triplice conformità lo stato dei luoghi conforme alle planimetrie catastali e le planimetrie catastali conformi allo stato autorizzato urbanisticamente in comune wow fantastic now i think we're gonna let him to do his job and then we'll follow him through all the way grazie grazie wow. a te davide grazie And we are back in the comfort zone of the office. How important it is to get the surveyor? Well, very important. I have read so many stories over the years of people buying properties in Italy, everywhere, and coming across issues. One simple question I would like to ask them. How many of you have actually engaged a professional surveyor to survey the property prior to you moving forward with an offer and purchasing the property. I think you would find that the answer to that it's a very small percentage 
And yes, it's possible that you have paid the professional to survey the property prior, but I would say that getting a professional involved right from the start when you are purchasing a property with your own money in a country that you don't know really well, it's a must. Now, the job of a geometer, like we've seen today in this video, is very thorough because the way I normally operate and is the way anyone will operate, the paperwork it's sent prior to the geometra or the surveyor inspecting the property. So he has the time to look at the documentation and asking questions. See, one of those questions can be a question that I ask all the time. If I'm assisting people here in the area that I'm handling, I kind of cross over from the legal advice onto the real tour, onto uh, the, the building site, but that's because my extent experience in the field. But if you're acquiring somewhere else, potentially you will come across this. And one of the questions that I ask all the time, the real tours is, can I have a look at the papers? And of course, they'll submit me the papers. And I look at a cadastral sheet Visura catastale, and I look at a floor plan, planimetria catastale. Up to here, straightforward. Now, if I'm looking at it straight away, I will notice sometimes things. One of those things that is extremely obvious if you are looking at a visura catastale is to see if there has been any amendments or any changes in there. Now, straight away, the first thing is I will ask for unistorica. So I will have an history, uh, or an old one, so it will show me what was there before the change happened. And just as the geometer always tells me, and it's the way it is, the cadastral doesn't get touched. Because you see, the cadastral, it's a storage. Imagine now, well, now it's all, we live in a virtual world where things are potentially in a little box like that, which is a computer and a little bit of a memory stick. Well, before they used to be piled up in papers. Now the cadastral office, it's where all the plans and the floor plans of a property were kept. But that's the job of the cadastral, really, keeping the data. But it doesn't necessarily mean that a project has been approved. So people could have actually deposited the new changes, but without actually doing the project and getting the right authority to approve that. I can guarantee you that I would say 70% of the time that is the case. But I always hear the same answer. No, the paperwork, it's all fine. Paperwork, it's fantastic. And then the geometer comes along or I come along and I say, okay, he says variazione. So there's been a, a variation in 2015. Yes, 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 yes. And in fact, we got the new floor plan. Yes, 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 yes. And I say, okay, can I see the project that was presented to the local authority with all the relevant stamps and dates and everything else and the approval and also the when the project was terminated with the approval, we may have an issue there. Well, that's where you need the geometry. What he was saying today that it needs to meet in three different places. The paper needs to be in line with the physical aspect of it and with a project that it's been potentially presented to the local authority. Extremely important. But sometimes people don't see these little issues and just for the sake of a few hundred euros, they think we don't need it, we've seen it, we know everything about building, but that's not the case. So it's worth paying a surveyor to do a job. And when it comes to a surveyor, it doesn't just send you an email saying everything it's okay. Uh, you'll probably get a report which is 15, 16 pages long. Now it's not 15, 16 pages of material. You've got a lot of photographs, how the state of the property is like at the moment, specific information in regards to the paperwork and the urbanistic side of it. That will be all written in the report. There may be some geometers which they go a little bit further in giving you some advice of what can potentially be done in order to improve the property once you acquire the property, if you do decide to acquire the property. And in some cases, the geometer can also give you an evaluation. So when you're purchasing a property, regardless if you're here and you've inspected physically yourself, 
or you've trusted somebody, it is worth having a surveyor inspecting the property and giving you the approval that everything is okay. Now, how do you find the geometra? Well, it's not an easy task. You can find it online. Sometimes there are portals online that you can use. But I would say if you're purchasing a property in an area that you don't know really well, engaging the services of a, of a lawyer, of a real estate lawyer, can be really helpful. Because the real estate lawyer will engage the services of a geometra. The lawyer is not going to go on site and see the property. Well, in majority of the cases, they don't. Just like the notario is not going to do that. But the lawyer, who's going to be responsible to give you green lights all the way across the process, is going to make sure that chooses a geometra that he can trust, who's going to look at the paperwork right, who's going to inspect the property and report back to him in order for the lawyer to advise you on the best way forward. So that's how you can find a geometra. You could probably find it yourself, but I would say getting somebody to follow you all the way through can be helpful. How much does it cost? Well, it depends. How long is a piece of string? Are we talking about a property of 20, 30,000 euros where you probably think it's not worth spending a few hundred euros on a survey? Even there, think twice. Or are we talking about a property of a half a million, a million, two millions, five millions? Where are we talking about? Obviously the responsibility on the geometra and the level of work that he needs to do on that inspection is much greater according to the type and the size of the property and the acquisition itself and the level of responsibility as well in signing a report which is then going to be used by the lawyer to be able to advise you in how to move forward. So I think having a surveyor, it's a yes, but then a lot of people think they don't need it. Sometimes you may have a situation that you've got somebody so good on board that all the paperwork's are there and you've got somebody who's done all the due diligence for you and maybe, maybe, you may be able to bypass this little expense. In my experience, it's something that I would recommend to anyone considering purchasing a property in Italy. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video on the importance of getting a surveyor prior to purchasing or even making an offer on a property in Italy. If you have enjoyed it, subscribe to the YouTube channel, put a like, leave me a comment. If you are in need of help anywhere in Italy, give me a comment there or write me an email. I'll be happy to assist in the little bit of time that I have left before I go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you very much for your great support wherever you are and all your emails and your uh, uh, fantastic energy that you send across and vibes. All I'll say to you, stay safe wherever you are.